Hello, Carl here with Sustainability Theory News. We're over at the website for the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, UC Berkeley's lab, and they have discovered really double the amount of bacterial families that are out there. And this is a chart of what they found at their rifle site, which is in rifle or near rifle, Colorado. They have literally doubled the number of known bacteria just by researching one site thoroughly, both their groundwater and their soil, for beneficial microbes. This is just the tip of the iceberg. That's what this tells me. If we did more genetic sequencing of microbes, which is what they did, they found 2,500 microbes and genetically sequenced all of them and found a whole bunch of unknown species. And the ones that are in red are the unknown species families, family of species. They said just added 47 new branches to the tree of life. And the little dots indicate the beneficial aspect that these microbes have on the soil or water in the area. Either carbon fixation, nitrogen fixation, sulfur fixation, cycling nitrogen throughout, uh, oxidizing hydrogen or producing hydrogen, or just allowing for respiration of the bacterial colony, the mycelium base that's made up of all these different types. Well, you know what, if they could find something that processes phosphorus and makes it easy for plants to uptake, which it can take a long time for phosphorus to move from the roots to the fruit of an apple tree, years if the tree is tall enough because it can move about a half inch a day. Well, you know what, if they could find a bacteria that makes it a little bit easier for phosphorus to move through plants by breaking it down, that's just one example on how Beneficial bacteria could help revolutionize agriculture as we know it, literally from the grassroots up. Well, you know what? You can read more about this study in the link in the description. And if you'd like to see more news headlines like this, subscribe to my channel. Have a great day.